Hey guys, quick message. Um, I just want to talk about how one of the major ways you guys know, um, a lot of you know this, to tell a narcissist is by their eyes. Um, their eyes will have this very flat, blank expression in their eyes. Um, it's a very dead look. Um, there's no spark in their eyes. There's no light reflected in their eyes. Um, they have very a very blank stare, a very blank stare. A lot of them don't blink a lot, but they have a very blank look in their eyes. You know what I mean? Um, it's like a blank slate. It's like a blank slate. And when you look into the narcissist's eyes, you will see it's like an endless tunnel. There's no end in sight because there is no end. It's empty. There's nothing in there. There's nothing behind their eyes. And the eyes are the window to the soul. You guys, the eyes are the window to the soul. That's so true. Um, so yeah, the narcissist will have, um, the narcissist will have this blank, dead, empty look in their eyes and they can't hide that. They can't hide that. Um, they can even put shades on. Yeah. Sunglasses. They can put those on and they still can't hide them. They still can't, unless they're really dark sunglasses, but they still can't hide those eyes behind shades. They cannot hide those eyes, you guys. And that's the thing that, that, that a lot of them do. I mean, I've even had narcissists in my workplace, in, in my job, in, in the office. When I used to work at an office. And uh, they would wear shades while working on their laptop. I'm like, bitch, what do you need to wear shades for? You're in an office with fluorescent lighting working on a laptop. And, I'm, and those shades did not look like they even had anti-reflectives on them. I'm like, what do you need to wear shades looking at your fucking laptop screen doing work in an office, you whack job? I, they, they do that. They do that because they know their eyes reveal a lot. Because their eyes are completely empty. There's no empathy there. There's no shine. There's no spark. And, um, yeah. A lot of the narcissists are porn addicts too. So their eyes look, you know, th their brains are fried from that. Um... But yeah, a lot of them are strung out on drugs. You wouldn't even know because the narcissist keeps all that on the low. They don't tell a lot of people what they're doing. And a lot of them are out in the streets doing much harder drugs than you think they are. A lot of them are into heroin. I mean, stuff you wouldn't even believe. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Their eyes reveal it all, you guys. Their eyes are the window to the soul. The narcissist's eyes will reveal just how dead on the inside they are. And a lot of them, um, they, they try and look you in the eyes. This is an intimidation tactic sociopaths, narcissists use. They will get really close and they'll look you right dead in the eyes for a very long time. They won't blink. It's an intimidation tactic. Don't fall for it. They're doing that to try and kind of like size you up as prey. To try and see if you have any vulnerabilities. Or weaknesses they can exploit. So don't get it twisted. They're not looking you in the eyes because they want to connect. They're looking you in the eyes because they want to see what's in your eyes. They're staring into your soul too. And they know goddamn well that you have a heart of gold. They're, that you have a lot of kindness and innocence in your eyes and they don't. They have very, like I said, blank eyes. That's one of the first signs. This wavering kind of blank predatory stare. And they don't have any shame either. No, they don't. They will stare. It's like a stare down competition with sociopaths and narcissists. They will stare at you like this. And the eyes will be kind of like, yeah, this blank, um, dead look. And they won't take their eyes off you. Now see, a normal person who is sane um, will get the hint. And they'll break eye contact a lot. Narcissists, sociopaths, no. No, they won't. They will not break eye contact. It is done as a threatening gesture. It is done to try and intimidate you. That's why they do it. That's why, see, narcissists, sociopaths, they love making other people uncomfortable. Oh my God, they thrive on it. I've had them say it out of their mouths to me. They love making people uncomfortable. That's why they do it, because they don't give a shit about other people or their comfort. They care about their own comfort. They don't care about anyone else's. So that's why they, you know, like I said, they'll, they'll look you 
dead in the eye, dead ass in the eye like this. And it's to assess you as potential prey, as a potential target. That's why they're doing it. They're trying to assess you as their next victim. So don't think it's flattering. Don't think it's cute. Don't think it's a way that they're trying to connect their soul to yours. Because trust me, they don't have a soul. <laughs> They are soulless and empty on the inside. They are soulless and empty on the inside. They don't have a soul and they know it. They know it. They know what they are. They know they're demons. They know they're the devil operating in human flesh. They know this shit. They know all this shit about themselves. They just, they don't want you to know it. But see, a lot of them will drop subtle hints in the beginning. Um, they'll, they might make references to themselves about being crazy or, uh, or dangerous or like a bad person or like the devil but when they make little comments little snide comments like that uh self-referencing comments uh pay close attention because they're they're telling on themselves they're telling the truth about themselves when they make those little snide comments little little remarks little little you know things about themselves they're telling you the truth about who they are So that's another one of their tactics is in the beginning when you meet them, they might whisper under their breath, think you didn't catch them because they're very sneaky. They'll say something like, oh, I'm a really bad person. I've done bad things. And then they'll look at you, try to see if you caught them or, or you heard them. Um, so they're, they're going to they're gonna tell you and show you who they are in the beginning. Um, they're going to say certain things like that. And it's almost like they almost like talk, are talking in a different voice when they say it because it sounds different from their regular voice. Um that's why I always say it's like the demon in them talking and revealing itself to you. Um, but yeah, you guys, um, the, the, the eyes are the window to the soul. And the narcissists and sociopaths don't have a soul. So they, um, you know, they, like I said, they'll, they'll hide a lot of times behind um, their sunglasses, behind shades, even in the workplace. When you look and there's fluorescent lighting in a work building, like, why are you wearing shades? And a lot of them also um, will wear it in their social media uh, profiles, especially on dating apps, you guys. That's why I say stay the fuck off dating sites. Don't ever use them, especially if you're a woman. Don't do it. You're just, you're just, baby, you're, you're walking yourself into the slaughterhouse. The narcissists don't even have to find you. You're walking straight into the slaughterhouse. You're walking straight into the mouth of a predator if you get on a dating app. If you create a profile on a dating app and you're a woman, you are walking straight into the den of a predator and you don't even know it. You don't see it coming. But like I said, um, they will um, hide. They, they'll, their, their main profile picture will be them with shades on. Why do you think that is? Why? Because they're hiding. They're hiding. Oh my God. They're hiding, bitch. They're hiding. They're hiding behind those gla sunglasses. They're not trying to show you their eyes because they know you'll see they have very demonic, a uh, very demonic stare in their eyes, a very um, evil stare. Uh, I call it the evil eye, but a lot of them will give you that evil eye and they, it's a very, like I said, blank, um, dead stare. It's like a blank slate. There's nothing behind their eyes. There is nothing behind their eyes. Nothing. The narcissist does not have a personality. They do not have an identity. They steal and mimic and copy the personalities and identities of everyone around them. They're identity thieves. They're personality thieves. They copy what you say like a parrot. They mimic everything about you. They even start to dress like you. Um, and uh, they will copy your sayings. They will steal your words. They will... Um, and see, when they steal your words, they will steal them exactly as they won't even come up with their own original spin on your words. They will copy your words word for word and, and post it like on social media, like it's their own. So they mimic and copy everything about you, your interests, your likes, um, you know, like I said, your personality quirks, your personality traits, they steal your personality, they become you, they morph into you because they don't have an identity of their own. Um, they're a blank slate. So whoever they're around, they become like a chameleon. They can become and shift into any personality they're around. 
Um, that's why they're so charming. They can charm the pants off of anyone. Um, you know, uh, they can say all the right things. And, um, like I said, they're, um, uh, they know they don't have long to try and seduce you. So they try and do it so quick. But like I said, um, a lot of them will hide behind those sunglasses. You'll see them wear them. Um, at least I find uh, the more intelligent narcissists do this. They'll hide behind their sunglasses in, like I said, um, in uh, different, you know, places, even, um, you know, like I said, in an office. It's like, why the hell are you wearing those in an office? You know, they don't want you to really um, kind of catch on in their, with looking in their eyes. But they don't mind looking you in the eyes. Like, they'll, you know, get all up close and kind of, like, stare. But like I said, that's inappropriate behavior. That is. that is. I mean, even from a spouse. I mean, they shouldn't be doing that shit to you. What the fuck? That's violating your boundaries. Don't allow anyone to do that shit to you. That's what sociopaths and narcissists do. It's a threat. They get really up close and they're, like, staring right into your fucking eyes. You know what I mean? And the narcissistic men do that to women to try and intimidate us. Do you think they would try that shit with another man? No, they would be knocked the fuck out. <laughs> they would be knocked the fuck out. You think if they get in a man's face like that and say, he, he, no, that guy would be knocked the fuck out. They do it to women. They, they try and get really up close and try and assess you as possible prey. That's what they're doing. That's all it is. It's not, oh... You're my soulmate, and um, <laughs> I feel this, you know, connection with you I don't feel with anyone else. No, that's all bullshit. Bullshit. See, that's the biggest trick of the narcissist, to try and make y'all think y'all are you're, you guys are twin flames. You're not. They try and trick you and trap you. That's the soulmate trap, the twin flame trap. All that BS where they try and, you know, bring up coincidences and times and... Oh, we met at this time, and, uh, oh, you know, I think you're my soulmate. And it's all BS to try and lure you in. Um, it's not true. Don't buy into it. It's the, it's the soulmate tactic, the soulmate scam, where they try and say, Oh, I think you're my soulmate because I missed you so much. And even though we haven't talked in months, and I, I've been ignoring you. And meanwhile, they're with somebody else. And then um, what they do is they'll pop back up and just say, hey, I missed you so much. And uh, I think you're my soulmate. I think we're meant to be. And it's all bullshit. Like, don't buy into that shit. But they try and convince you of that. And they'll, they'll say, oh, yeah, we're soulmates. We're meant to be. No, bitch, we're not meant to be. If we're meant to be, then you would not have fallen off the face of the earth um, and ignored me for, you know, a year. Like, we're not meant to be, bitch. Go back. Go back to the hole where you crawled out of. Go back to the gutter where you crawled out of. The trash can where you crawled out of. And leave me alone. That's it. That's all you have to tell them. Leave me alone. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. That's all you have to say. Fuck off. Two words. Because they're gonna they're gonna try you like I said, but um with the eye thing, yeah, that's one of the that's the biggest indicator, you guys. And see, I could just kick myself because those are some of the um uh, the red flags that I have bypassed in a lot of narcissists, and I do regret that. Um, because I could see it coming. I could see it, you guys, just by a quick glance at their eyes. Because I'm very intuitive, and it's almost like at like a psychic level, I can pick up people. Uh, people's intentions, people's energies. I'm very sensitive to people's energies and intentions and whether they have bad intentions. And um, like I said, I uh, I can do this at a very like almost like elite level, but now and then I do miss it. But um, like I said, I, I did get that like an intuitive flash and I looked over and I saw, I saw the eyes and I thought, oh shit, what is that? Like, I get this little intuitive flash when I saw their eyes. And I thought to myself, oh shit, that looks like a predatory stare. You know, a predator stare. It doesn't look like a stare like, oh, I want to, you know, check you out. Like, no, no, that's not what it is, you guys. That stare is very sinister. It's a very uh, kind of bloodthirsty stare, like predatory stare, kind of staring you down, sizing you up. It's not, um, and it's inappropriate too. 
because people know that like intense eye contact and not breaking eye contact is socially rude like it's not acceptable people just don't do that but see the narcissists don't mind breaking social rules they don't conform to social normalities um they're antisocial, so they don't mind doing things like that to people to try and you know control them get them to fall in line intimidate them uh, make them think there's a connection when there's not they do stuff like this to people all the time and sometimes it works um but yeah you know you got to watch out for that because that's a very telltale sign the female narcissist will do that too um they won't break eye contact sometimes they'll look you very intensely in the eyes um but that's one of their many tools you guys so watch out for that uh, watch out for that tactic 